This is part three of my bow building series. If you haven't watched the previous parts, you can click on the right side of your screen now to do so. In this video, I'm going to do the recurves by using uh, my heat gun. And then I will make the tips as well using uh, pier wood. So I'm gonna start with taking off more material of the belly. However, from now on I need to be more and more careful um, because as the limbs are getting thinner, the risk of destroying the bow will increase. So I will try not to hurry and take small steps and I will be fine. Here I'm cleaning up the back of the bow very carefully with my scraper. As you may remember from the previous video, the limbs are not as straight as I wish them to be, so I want to try to fix that now. Maybe just a slight bend of just one limb will do. And I, yeah, I'm using the heat gun, though I know it's risky bending hazelnut with dry heat, but I'm confident enough to, to give it a try. Once the wood is hot enough, it should stay in its form. Yeah, that, that worked out well. I, I have a good feeling uh, now, so, so let's continue with the recurves. As I, of course, want the tips of the bow bent in the same way, I need to use my bending device, which helps me achieving exactly that. So now let's hope that the bow survives this treatment and we will get some awesome looking recurves.
So patience is key here. Just let it become hot enough. Don't burn it. Don't force it too much. <laughs> it just cracked it. It split it. But but I, I think we're good. The 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 split is not very deep. So I continue. It's always a thrill building something like that. Yeah, so I have two little cracks in it now, but fortunately they are not deep enough so that there is still enough material left. So now I want to do the tips and I want them to be made of pier. Uh, it is uh, a hard wood and I I got it lying around. It's from a tree my neighbor took down and I processed some of the wood because it's just beautiful. So I will use epoxy resin to glue those blocks to the limbs and I'm making those little cuts to create more surface for the glue to hold on to.
So this is it for now. Next time I'm gonna do the tillering of the bow. That's the most crucial part of the of the whole build. And I I am very excited about it. I, I hopefully will manage not to break it. And uh, and if so, I will show you as well how I built the, the bowstring. So thank you very much for watching and please subscribe to the channel and I hope to see you next time. Take care.